Hello everybody, Hooded Cobra Commander 788 here, and I am back to do an unboxing and assembly of a G.I. Joe vehicle. It has been a long time since we've done this. It's always fun. This time we are doing something modern. We are going to open a vehicle that was released this year in 2021 at Walmart. This is the G.I. Joe Cobra Hiss 3. I have two of these. The other one is right there. And since I have two of them, I thought, why not? Let's just open one up and put it together. If this is anything like other Hiss tanks, it shouldn't require too much assembly. And it does look like it's based on the original 1983 Hiss tank design, except it's blue. It does come with an action figure, the driver, codenamed Rippet. Let's open this thing up and put it together. Unfortunately, I don't have all the tools I usually use to put these vehicles together. Um, I don't have them right now, or at least if I have them, they are packed away somewhere, and I don't know where they are. So we're going to do the best we can with our bare hands. Uh, so I've cut the tape. I am opening one side of the box. Uh, it looks like we have a cardboard tray in here. So I believe I should be able to just slide this out. There we go. And uh, empty box inside. Everything is in this tray. Uh, so yeah, it looks like we've got the same basic pieces as the original his tank. It looks like the tracks have some, like some weathering on them, and that's nice. It's a nice touch, a nice added detail. It looks like the main pieces are tied to the back of the cardboard tray. Uh, it looks like, it looks like I ought to be able to just untie these. I'd rather not cut them if I can avoid it, because uh, I just don't want to risk cutting or scratching the plastic. But if these will not untie easily, I will just cut them. Uh, this one's coming. All right, no problem there. Um, this certainly does secure the parts inside the box, and that's not a bad thing, but it is kind of a pain trying to get these things out. Okay, this one's not coming. I'm going to see if I can just cut it. All right, that did cut. This is a reasonably sharp knife here, but it's still taking a couple tries to cut through this cord. There we go. Okay, I believe all of the uh, strings have been cut, and we should be able to pull this out now. There are the treads, and yeah, it has some nice weathering on, on the treads. That actually looks pretty cool. Not bad. It's a, it's a nice way to update this piece that we've gotten dozens of times on his tanks uh, just to make it uh, look a little better, look a little more detailed, and just refresh it. I see the uh, the wheels are already attached. We do not have to assemble the wheels. That makes it easier. And then the main body of the tank, which is in a nice Cobra blue. That looks like it should fairly closely match the Cobra Asp. So that's nice. A uh, nice Cobra blue. I don't think it's quite as dark a blue as the Cobra Ferret. It's a little lighter than that, but it's a nice color. That does look like a Cobra vehicle. And then this thing, the, uh, the turret. There's the turret. Uh, and this is all black. So this is very similar to what we've gotten before. Uh, looks like the basic construction is a, a little different. Um, yeah, the... Um, We've got a much more sturdy, um, a sturdy uh, gun elevation on there. That's not going to break as easy as the vintage one did. We've got a different number of tabs uh, on the underside to fit it into the uh, the main body of the vehicle, which means this is probably not compatible with a vintage his tank. You're not going to be able to swap out parts on that. So that's the. Uh, that's most of the vehicle, and then we have this packet here, um, and that's all that's in there. So this packet is um, taped together. Let's cut the tape and see what's in it. We should have an action figure in there, and maybe some stickers, maybe some stickers and an instruction sheet. That would be handy. Okay, that is cut. Let's open it. And what have we? Yeah. All right. We have we have an action figure, the driver, Rip It, who is done in the modern 25th anniversary style with that modern articulation and uh, 
and sculpting. So there you go. It looks like um, it just looks like the his tank driver, but in in blue and black instead of in red. Um, I don't think this is a new mold. Um, I'd have to confirm that. I'm not an expert on modern figures, but I believe I've seen this before, and it looks an awful lot like previous his drivers we have gotten. Uh, we have a canopy. That's important. We have a figure stand for the driver. We have, uh, oh yeah, the legal disclaimers and stuff. Um, we have, yes, the instruction sheet. Uh, so, it's very small. It does have blueprints, but it's very small. Uh, but that's fine, no problem. Um, it looks like the, the construction is a three-step process. That'll be very easy. And then we have the sticker sheet. Oops, uh, there we go. We have the sticker sheet. And instead of the classic uh, 788 sticker for the side of the tank, we have 813. So everyone in area code 813 is today's prize winner. Um, I don't have my tweezers, which I usually use to um, put the stickers on. We will just have to do the best we can. So uh, looking at the instructions, it looks like we are supposed to start by uh, turning this over and then taking this here. And um, yeah, we uh, there's a, a lip right here and a slot here. It looks like we slot that in and then press this down at the back. And it should, if I'm careful, pop into place. But I want to be extra cautious uh, yeah, this always makes me nervous. I have assembled many vintage vehicles and some modern vehicles too, but this point of no return where I have to bend the plastic to fit these tabs on and it's going to be pretty much permanent always makes me nervous. There we go. There we go. Snapped into place very solidly. And we have the, the basic structure of a his tank. All that's really left is... The, um, the canopy, which is not the same as in the blueprints. The blueprints has the, uh, the tab of the canopy extended. This is a short tab, but it looks like it should go in like any other His Tank canopy. And again, uh, this has to flex a little bit in order to get slotted in. So I'm going to carefully work that in carefully carefully all right and then yeah okay wow that was easy um, his tank with canopy and finally the the turret which looks like it oh goes exactly like that and then it should turn and we have an assembled his three nice just needs some stickers so let's get that started stickers and uh, this has a, uh, a guide for the stickers so I'm going to start on my side I'll turn it around so you can see but we're going to start with the 813 where is area code 813 hey if you are in area code 813 in the United States let me know where you are just out of curiosity I could google that but uh, but if you live there and you're watching this then you already know and you can just tell me and I don't have to Google it. Right, these stickers are not wanting to come off this sheet very well. These stickers are pre-cut, but they, uh, they're not cut very well. So let's get this on. I want it to be placed pretty well right about there. Okay, so there is 813. And then, let's see. Uh, this... Uh, 2 slash 21, whatever that means, goes in that little space right there. Uh, because the text is black and the blue is kind of a dark color, you're not going to be able to see this very well. If they had done that in white, it would have shown up much better. So, like, so this sticker here, can you even see that? Maybe if I'll hold it up really close. Um, that that does that, that's very low contrast. Uh, okay, what else? We've got a cobra emblem. 
that goes on this side toward the back. Like so. Nope, wrong place. Okay, so there we go. Getting closer. Looking more like the real deal. All right. Um, yeah, we've got these, uh, these little diagrams of the uh, his tank here, and they go kind of on the underside of the cockpit. So let's pull one of these off. And these are not identical. They're facing in opposite directions, so I have to make sure I get the right one. Uh, so this one will go on the side that is facing me right now. And it really does not want to come off. Usually placing the stickers is one of my favorite parts of assembling a video, but this is not making it very easy. Okay, here we go. All right, got it. And this goes right there. And this is another low contrast thing. Uh, and that doesn't even necessarily have very much space for it. So I'm going to put this on here as it shows on the blueprints. But look at this. This sticker right there. Can you see that? That's, um, it's, I mean, it would be a nice detail if you could see it. Okay, let's, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Um, any more on this side? Yes, this little V sticker and the SM8A. Uh, the V sticker, okay, the, the V is in blue, but it's going to be on the, the tracks. So that'll show up a little better. Uh, at first, I thought the blue V was going on on the blue um, body, but that is not the case. It's still a dark color on a dark color, so uh, I don't think it's going to stand out very well. This goes right there. Yeah. So, a V um, right there. Uh, and finally, the uh, last sticker on this side is going to go um, basically in this spot right here. Uh, and that is another dark color on a dark surface. Um, I, I just don't think these stickers were thought out very well. Um, it's a good thing the vehicle is blue and not the original black because then these stickers would be totally invisible. As they are now, they are just mostly invisible. Uh, so that goes right there that's easy enough um, but look really like there's a sticker right there it is black on blue and honestly it's so hard to see that if the sticker were not there I don't think you would notice okay so let's move on let's go to the front see that's the those are the completed stickers on that side I'm going to do the front now that includes this um, headlight piece uh, which is kind of a black and white grid surrounded by red. And um, I think this should look fine. I think the red against the blue is very classic Cobra. As long as the sticker fits well enough. If it fits, then it's great. If it doesn't fit, then we got a problem. It doesn't fit! Come on, guys. Come on. Um, this is this is a problem. Like, the sticker is too big. If the sticker were too small, that would be all right. Because, you know, at least it would not overhang. Um, can I, like, slide it under? This is, this is going to be a problem. This is going to be a problem. This is going to be a problem. I gotta, I gotta, I need to have a talk with Hasbro. Hasbro, if you're seeing this, we, we need to have a discussion. Because you made this sticker in the one and only way you could have made the sticker so that it doesn't work. It is too wide. All right, if, if it were too narrow, we could just, it's, it would, you'd still get the effect. We just need to, to center it in that space. But to make it too wide, means that it's going to overlay, which is exactly what it's doing. It's all the way up there as far as I can get it, and it's uh, it's hanging over. 
I'm not sure you can see what I mean, but the sticker is like, it's overhanging. There's like an overhang of the sticker uh, down below the edge of the front of the vehicle. That that doesn't work, guys. That doesn't work. Um, nice try, but um, but uh, very poor execution on that. It, really, this is not hard. This is not hard. All right, this doesn't cost any more money. It doesn't. You have you printed the sticker. You die cut the sticker. Uh, it doesn't cost you any more money to just cut it the right size. And, and you should know what the right size is because, you know, you, you made this vehicle. It's been around for quite a while. It is not, it is not new. Um, okay. All right. Sorry. Enough, enough bitching at Hasbro. Let's keep moving. Let's, uh, let's see. There's a small Cobra emblem that goes on the turret. I was so nervous about scratching the plastic earlier, and now I'm just tapping the plastic with this plastic, or tapping the plastic with this knife as if I don't care. All right, there we go. Now this, it's, this is a nice classic Cobra emblem. I like it. Let's get it lined up. Let's get it as straight as we can, like so. All right, not bad. And then finally, um, this guy goes on the tread. All right, and here's here's the thing about that. This is uh, a mostly black uh, box with some white lines and a little bit of a, a blue design on it. It's bad enough when the black is on the blue. That's hard to see, but now we're going to have black on black. You will be able to see the white lines, but there's absolutely no point in having the black box behind the lines because it's it's black on black. You could have just made it clear with white lines. Uh, waste of ink, I guess. But there we go. Uh, next, we need to move on to... All right, so we've, we've done this side, we've done the front. Now I've got to do... I've got to do this side, so let's do that. This is going to be mostly the same as the other side. Um, and then we do the back and we're done. And then we will take a little look at it and see what we think. We'll put the driver in, uh, make sure he fits. Here's another 813. Everyone in 813 gets a no prize. That's right. There is no prize. Uh, let's try to line this up with where the other one was. That's pretty close right there. Oh, well, that is not even. Let's try to get that a little more level. That's not bad. Not perfect, but it's not bad. All right, and we have another Cobra emblem on the back side. So now you can see this side. So it, it really doesn't matter what I'm doing on the side. You can't see because it's essentially the same thing. I'm just making this side look like the other side. There we go. Cobra emblem. Uh, what's the other one? Here we go. This black on dark blue. Yeah, the decisions uh, made on these stickers are a little questionable. I I get you know the budget issue. I understand. This is a um, a classic vehicle reissued. It's going to have a limited. Uh, marketability. You're essentially marketing this to older folks like me who already know about this vehicle and uh, and so we're really going to be the only ones buying it. So it's it's got to be produced, you know, relatively inexpensively. Uh, but that's not that's not the problem. Um, yeah, it, it can be produced inexpensively, but if you're printing stickers that you can't see then you are wasting money. You are wasting effort on the production of those stickers. And that, I, I guess I don't get that. I guess I don't understand that. Uh, I'm so glad to get back to doing G.I. Joe videos. There's a lot that I need to do. Uh, I need to get back into the groove of doing vintage G.I. Joe toy reviews. I also want to pick back up on the comic book reviews. We kind of left off 
on those um, at a pretty good spot. We need to pick that up and carry on. We were in a good place in the comic book series. Um, okay, now the back. So, yeah, now I've got same st stickers on both sides. The front is covered as well as it can be. Now let's do the back. There are only two stickers that go on the back. There is this Cobra emblem that goes in the center. Right there. Let's try to get it right. That's pretty good. And then we've got this control panel sticker that goes on the turret. Again, it's, uh, it's black on black, but at least there are some white buttons and gauges that will show up on that black background and come on there she is okay now we have completely assembled and stickered the 2021 gi joe cobra his three it is done i do think it looks pretty good overall i like the blue i like the uh, weathered and distressed tracks that's uh, just a nice touch on those old classic parts uh, so that looks good stickers are a little questionable though i'm not gonna lie let's finish it up by putting the driver in the driver's seat um, he has a figure stand there we go but of course if he's in the driver's seat he doesn't need the figure stand okay so there's the driver and we are going to just pop him in here i believe he goes straight-legged. You cannot bend his knees. Um, and then, nope, that's not going to work because his head is in the way. So he's got to slouch a little bit. But I think we got it. There we go. We got it. So the driver is in the vehicle. Uh, this is dark-tinted glass. Uh, or plastic, really. It's a dark-tinted plastic. Uh, because of that, you can't see the driver in there. I mean, it's blue on blue. You wouldn't be able to see him very well in any case. That's one of the reasons why a red uniformed driver for a his tank is ideal. It's because you can see the guy in there. Um, and I guess for this figure stand, I, you can just put it in the turret. Um, I believe the, uh, the 50th anniversary uh, his tank, the orange one, came with both a driver and a gunner. So that was nice. Uh, this only comes with a driver, and uh, if you don't want to lose his figure stand, you got to put it in there somehow. That was my unboxing and assembly of the 2021 Cobra His 3. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you're thinking of getting one of these things, I hope this was helpful. I do think it looks nice. Uh, the blue color is a nice Cobra blue. Very much looks like a Cobra vehicle. The stickers are a little questionable, but overall the vehicle looks nice. I, I really can't complain. Uh, it doesn't really stack up for me with the original His Tank. That black is beautiful. It, you really just can't replace the black. That's gorgeous. But, you know, second place is a nice blue. If you liked this, please subscribe to the channel for vintage G.I. Joe toy reviews. I have a huge back catalog of toy reviews, and I've got a lot more coming. Also, please support the channel on Patreon if you want to help me continue doing these videos. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you next time. And until then, remember, only G.I. Joe is G.I. Joe.